Hey guys, Zach with Blade HQ. We're sitting down at SHOT Show 2019. We're at the Boker booth, and I'm sitting down with Kenton. How you doing? Good. Awesome. Hey, Great. Man. Great to have you back Thank again. You. Thank you. And uh, Kenton, what do you do for Boker? Remind us what you do for Boker. Uh, I'm the Southeast Regional Sales Manager for Boker USA. So I cover, well, not really the Southeast, more of the Mid-Atlantic states. Uh, right now they've got me going about 12 states. So 12 states. Wow, so that's a lot. A lot of dealers. So you know a little bit about some of these knives? I try to. Perfect. I try to. <laughs> we got some exciting stuff on the table. Show, show us what, what's going on here. Talk to me about what's going on here. This is exciting. Well, a couple of new things that we're doing now, uh, basically, are the OTF series. Uh, working with, uh, as a cooperation with Hogue Knives. Um, this is something brand new for us. It kind of flows a little bit different way from patterns that we're used to with the Quiken series. But it's a good introduction for us to get into the market. Um, working with Hogue, this is a special design for us with an aggressive inlay pattern, give a little bit more traction. Uh, running 154 CM steel. Uh, three and a half inch blade, eight inch overall, and the nice thing that a lot of my customers love is the fact that it's a left or right hand. You know, oh, I so I can reverse the pocket clip. Reversible deep carry pocket clip on that. That's way awesome. Uh, the function on it is, is really nice. It's, you know, it's, it's good solid lockup. Uh, you still have the built-in resistor, so it's not considered a switch blade. It's considered an automatic knife for law, um, but it doesn't have that uh, excessive hang up when you go to fire. So as you feel the hang up right there, you can actually feel it roll over and fire. Yeah. Instead of getting a misfire, getting we have to sling it out to get it to operate. Yeah, that's got a really nice feel to it. And so that pocket clip, reversible pocket clip, and deep carry, super nice feel on it a lot. And then two two blade styles it looks like. Uh, right now we're running two blade styles. We have the full blackout. Um, these are about ten dollars more in price. So this is going to run three twenty nine suggested retail. Uh, of course, these are map protected, so you will see different pricing levels of at the dealer level. Um, same operating system, same blade steel, it's just going to be coated. Um, we do have a Coyote pattern that it will be out soon. I just didn't have any to bring to the show. That happens sometimes. But these are actually available right now through your dealer. Great. So Wonderful. We, we have our first batch that's out and already being shipped. Great. Well, you guys will be able to find those at Blade HQ pretty soon, I'm sure. And then with these, when you say you're working with Hogue, it's similar to uh, how you guys are doing the ProTech, right? Correct. With the now, Quaken. If Boker actually had built a facility in the United States, it would put us back probably five or six years to actually get the operation to roll, uh, the certifications, you know, the materials, the people to work there, and the actual location to work So at. working with these partners is a good way it, to go. It's a faster way for us to get back into the industry, uh, to bring our automatics to the table and show people what we do. Great. Um, you know, Boker's been doing automatics since before World War II. Um, you know, with several of the paratrooper series and whatnot. Um, well, and, and, and we cannot import those over per federal law. Right. So, but speaking of automatics and ProTech, I'm seeing some Quaken autos on the table as well. What do you guys got, got going with these? We've got some new Quakens. You know, big difference between this one. Uh, working with uh, Chad Nichols, we're doing his virus pattern of Damascus steel. Um, you know, which is a, a really aggressive pattern for us. Um, kept the same you know, body style, the same aluminum body style, uh, the abalone uh, insert for the, the button. Um, now these are going to be somewhat limited in production quantities. Uh, they're going to retail for about $649, um, but these are actually available now and we'll start shipping as well. Great. Uh, so the, it's a it's a Boker ProTech and it's a Burnley design, right? Correct. Yeah, and we actually, we sat down with Lucas Burnley last year and talked about this pattern and, and the auto that was coming out and now that it's obviously out. And uh, Lucas said that this was kind of the perfect expression of his Quaken. Exactly. He, he said that the auto is just, that's the way he always envisioned the Quaken being. So it's really neat to see it in kind of a more premium build. Right. I've been working with Lucas here the past couple of years, just from my perspective, you know, he's got a lot of ideas. Uh, we're trying to bring all those ideas and put them all together and actually build product fast enough that he can come up with. Um, and it's just been a really great relationship. You know, he does work with other uh, knife companies, but we feel that you know, we have one of the strongest bonds. You know, we're, we're always looking for him at shows. And he's always bringing us neat new things. Yeah, Lucas, Lucas is a great guy. Um, and, and so what else, we got, a, we got a mini version here. This actually, uh, we were just introduced to this yesterday. Uh, now this is gonna be the Quiken Mini Auto. Um, uh, 154 CM steel on that as well. Uh, you're almost at a, about a two and three quarter inch. We haven't even run the full dimensions of this thing yet. Right. Uh, I mean, <laughs> prototype actually, right to this, your hand. This is prototype, even more <laughs> prototype. Now it's got the abalone uh, insert as well. Uh, now these will retail, you know, closer to the uh, 
219, 225 mark. We really haven't even come up with a price yet yeah. for it. But we're going to try to keep it right around the same Quiken price for the autos. Um, this we're hoping to have available within the next few months. Um, one neat feature that I can feel a difference on already is it almost feels like it has a, more of a, of a sandpaper texture to it. I felt that. It's got a really nice right. really nice feel to it. Really we, nice we grip to it. We had several people come back and give us their feedback saying maybe this is a little bit too slick. Uh, actually, just from playing it with it for the first few hours of the show today, we've noticed that it does operate a little bit easier in the hand because of the you don't have so much of a weight forward distribution where it feels like it's going to roll out of your hand. This one actually feels yeah. a good strong grip to it. Yeah. Yeah, when we were handling these before, that was something I did notice was it definitely had a little bit more purchase to it. I mean, any plans for these? You know, we've got a couple of the manual Quakens mm -hmm. that we've done kind of some exclusives with you guys on. Right. Any plans to do any sort of special inlays with these? Or that's, currently nothing? Or secrets? Secrets can't that's tell? That's probably being handled right behind me right now. Great. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't cover, you know, the accounts on the West Coast, but um, the, the actual rep, I, I know that he does have meetings with them, and they've already had some discussion. Uh, but I, I'm not in a position to say. <laughs> well, I'm it'll be sure exciting there's always to see what, something crazy. What might come along? Yeah, well, yeah. I, All I, right. I get a lot of my dealers actually look for for the products that we show, and I'm like, oh, that's an that's a custom exclusive product. Custom so. exclusive. Uh, so we've got some awesome OTFs. We got some sweet variations on the Quaken, and uh, some heritage pieces, right? Because you guys are celebrating a birthday. It's 150 100, years, right? 150 years as far as the cutlery side. Uh, now, Boker hardware goes back to the 16th century. So, you know, we had our, our series come out last year uh, to celebrate the, the finding of the documents. Um, we have come in with our 150th officially, uh, 1869. Um, part of that series, and this is just a few of the pieces, we're doing a like a green curly birch uh, with a gold inlay. Uh, several different models right now, I believe, are running about eight. Um, these are will be available soon, I would say early spring. But just like everything else, they're hand built. Uh, it takes a little bit more time to, to actually get the birch to work well with us, yeah. uh, get the gold inlays perfectly. Um, but they all have a different pattern to them. So, I mean, it's some really beautiful stuff that they're working out on. It's really neat. And so, and then this knife here, this, first off, the Damascus alone caught my eye. But this knife, this particular uh, anniversary series, this damascus steel has a special yes. story to it. This uh, part of this history, history to show the heritage of Boker, uh, World War II, the plant was destroyed. Everything in Germany was destroyed. So what was left, you know, we were left with steam engine parts and particular building parts. Well, uh, Boker decided to take some of those old pieces of history, uh, cog wheels, uh, shaft parts, out of the old original steam engines, send them over to Chad Nichols, uh, of course, he breaks them down, turns them into a Damascus pattern for us. We send them back to Germany, assemble it there. Uh, the wood is actually a, a, a smoked chestnut, which is something that you know is different for us. You know, as far as what we're used to with the olive woods and the coca bolas. Yeah, it gives it a little bit more of a rustic appearance. It does, but yeah, this this. This damascus steel here is just amazing, right? right? Chad Nichols, and okay. what he's done is he just took these old parts from the original factory, mm -hmm. right? Or you know, part of parts of the original factory, exactly. and turned it into. That's just special. That well, is you're, really you're, special. You're getting a piece of our history. Exactly. And we're limited to 150 pieces each. I was going to say yeah, it has to be limited because oh, yeah. uh, you only have so many parts to turn into. Right. <laughs> right. right. I mean, we'll probably be sold out by Shot Show in. I imagine. As far as what people are looking for, so that's I think great. They come with a certificate of authenticity, uh, display case. So it's, you know, I don't know if you want to have it as a daily carrier, uh, just because of its, you know, its, it's, it's a little special history to it. Yeah, yeah a little special. And uh, I mean, if, if somebody was interested in this, just ballpark. We always go kind of rough at Shot Show. You never quite know ballpark what that you're, what's that running for. On average, for a different particular series that we did, you're you're right between 350 to 375 suggested retail. That's not too now, bad. And again, the dealer level uh, will always be a little bit leaner in price. Great. Uh, but again, with being 150 pieces. It's, it, it's well worth it. For sure. Absolutely. All right, well, this is some exciting new stuff uh, coming out of Boker. Congratulations on 150 years. Thank you. That's great. And uh, we've been asking everybody at SHOT Show what they have in their pocket. What are you carrying right now? Still carrying the same one. Same one, huh? Right on. Still doing the Urban Trapper, but uh, actually playing around with doing a little bit more of a, of a dipping process to see how it would work out. Uh, coated it up a little bit better. Um, 
giving it a shot. So maybe it's something that we come out with, or so this play is with right, or so right now. This is a one-off. That's a one-off. Yeah. Right on. <laughs> I need, I need to get me an Urban Trapper. I like these things, man. Oh, they're great. They're great. <laughs> Working with Brad uh, Zinker has is, is been really a, a, an eye-opener for some of the new products that he has working with the German uh, facility with that I can't really talk about right now. Right. But, uh, you know, one hint is hopefully doing a full-size version with a little bit wider blade to it. Um, hopefully it will be in the works. But awesome. But my position within the company, you know, that kind <laughs> Right. Of you can only say so much. Yeah, exactly. Well, uh, thanks for having us. Appreciate thanks it. Thanks for having me. Great stuff on the table. And let us know in the comment, guys, what you think about this, uh, this Damascus blade. I, this is something that really caught my eye. This is really intriguing. And uh, we'd love to hear what you guys have to say about it. So that's everything we got from Boker. And we're getting ready to pack up. We're headed over to another booth. We got a ton of footage coming from SHOT Show. So check out our 2019 SHOT Show playlist here on YouTube. It's a mouthful. And uh, we'll see you guys in a little while.